the trinity whether it was tyagaraja or dikshida or shama shastri they did not sing for a living they did not use music to make a living um they did not seek royal patronage and tyagaraja um he wanted to pursue music for higher goals nadopasana as he himself speaks of in many of his compositions and there is a story that um the king hearing of tyagaraja's prowess as a composer as a vagekara he he sends his men to request him to compose a composition in his praise in the praise of the king and tyagaraja refuses much to the disappointment of his family especially an elder brother um this is a a story which uh, may or may not be true but um, there is a song there are compositions where tyagaraja directly says that um, music is only to praise lord rama and not to 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 glorify egotists this composition in kalyani is very famous it says nidhi chala sukhama ramuni sannidhi seva sukhama nija muga palku manasa mamata bandhana yuta narastuti sukhama this is the telling line narastuti is praise of a mere man a mere mortal that stuti that kind of praise glorification is tied up to one's egotism and the other's egotism it is used to um, that kind of glorification is entrenched it is uh, enmeshed in namata namatva that is a uh, bondage in one's own ego that is what he means to sing mamata bandhana yuta narastuti sukhama i will sing the praise of my lord which will free me from this uh, entanglement i will not sing the glory of a king in another extremely evocative composition in a minor raga this nithi chala sukhama is in kalyani one of the most popular widely heard songs in kalyani which is a major raga he, he sings another song with the same theme in ranjiri durmar gachara adhamulanu dorani vana jalara adhama a, a low person not just because he is in power or uh, position i will not call him my lord i will not call him my dore or my master when you are there no dharmatmaka dhanadhanyam when you are there why should i praise or acknowledge another a human as my master dharmatmaka dharma
compositions where he bemoans the um, charlatanism of many around him. He says people, uh, in a sense, musicians who use music for fame or money, they are uh, just fools, they are probably just, um, they are to be pitied. But, but there are these people who pose as if they have knowledge of religious truths, but were in actuality they are charlatans. Here again, two very different ragas, Mukhari, which is a very heavy, nuanced raga. He says this, Brahmani kamu baya nichula bratukaina bratukaina di gakai kalilo brahmamaina martala neer chukuni Baragayraya Thyagarajanuta Sarasiruhanana Rama Samayamu Brova Chitkhana Sarasiruhanana Sarasiruhanana Ramaya Sarasiruhanana Ramaya Sarasiruhanana Ramaya Another composition, a minor one this time, 
Bindu Malini. He says that, look at the beauty and the grace of Lord Rama. Why would you fault the charms of a woman, as many of these charlatans do? They have the name of the Lord on their lips, but their mind is not with the Lord. It is like, what does the pot know of the taste of milk? The pot is a container, but it knows not the taste of milk. So also these charlatans, they have the Lord's name on their lips, but they don't know the sweetness of His name. This is in Bindu Malini. Hattamida kanula sakudaya sude Satta Bhagavata Veshulai Hattamita Kanula Sakudaya Sude Hattamita Kanula Compositions again, he uh, speaks of Rama being actually everything, the one truth pervading all. Rama is a Sishta Devata, but it is ultimately one reality that pervades all. It says, in everything, Gagana, Anila, Tejo, Jala, Bhumaya, Magu. These are the five elements. Mrida Khaga Naga Tarukotulalu. Animals, birds, mountains and trees. Saguna Mulo, Viguna Mulo, Satatam. Sadhu Kyaga Rajadi, Ashtutulalu. Paramat Mudu Vilige, Muchata, Baga Telusukuri. In another song he says on the same with the same theme Jnana Musagarada Paramatmuru Jivatmuru Padinaluku Loka Muru Won't you give me wisdom to see that ultimately all this is one? Jnana Musagarada Jnana Mosagarada Garuda Gamana Vaga Jnana Mosagarada Garuda Gamana Vaga Jnana Mosagarada Padramatmudu Ramat Guru Ji Vat Guru Ramat Guru Ji 
you are paripurna you are nishkalanka you are full nishkalanka without any flaws niravadhi sukhadayaka and you can alone bestow endless fathomless joy and i am beseeching you tyagaraja is beseeching you won't you give me jnana or knowledge paripurna nishkalanka niravadi sukhadayaka varatyaga rajadi Yagaraja has composed many krutis he has also composed what i call divya nama kirtanas these are a different structure where you have the pallavi probably anano pallavi and then many charanas of the same structure very often just pallavi followed by you have pallavi followed by many charanas and these are actually meant for group singing for uh, one person leading since all the charanas will be in the same tune it's easy for uh, repetition and for group singing there are some very beautiful compositions among these and um, another set of compositions are is called utsava sampradaya kriti now uh, utsava here refers to temple festivals and uh, these compositions describe uh, the various um, various activities around the lord through the day um tyagaraja's pancharatna is very famous pancharatna here means five gems these are compositions where you have a pallavi followed by an anupallavi and about 8 to 10 charanas now each charana has a swara using the swaras first and then the uh, sahitya these five uh, compositions are in the five ghana ragas natya gaulai arabhi varali and shri and uh, interestingly each of them is in a different mode um, natya pancharatnam jagadananda karaka it is simply singing the glory of rama he addresses rama in uh, with many many epithets the whole song is uh, a celebration of rama he says jagadananda karaka you are the joy of the entire world you you uh, you best out you you are the reason for joy in this entire world jagat ananda karaka gaganadhipa sat kulaja raja rajeshwara gaganadhipa sat kulaja that is gaganadhipa is the sun rama is the belongs to that dynasty surya vamsha and so on so that all the, the whole composition it's in sanskrit and it is um, all of them are epithets addressing rama omkara panjara kira purahara saroja bhava keshava omkara panjara kira
Ratnais, in a mood of penitence, it's almost despondent, where Tyagaraja asks Rama, how are you going to save me, such a sinner that I am? Then that is appropriate in the Raga that uh, such a mood is expressed very well. Nurukugale, it's in the Raga Gaude. The third Pancharatna is actually uh, has Krishna as its center figure. The fourth is in Barali, in which Tyagaraja is reveling in the beauty of Lord Rama. Kanakana Ruchira. As I keep gazing at you, your beauty seems to grow. That is the gist of his composition. The fifth, which is perhaps very deservedly a very famous composition, is Yendaro Mahanubhavulu Andariki Vandanam. The story goes that uh, Yagaraja was visited by uh, a great musician from Kerala, a musician called Shatkala Govinda Marar. And uh, on seeing Govinda Marar's uh, musicianship, Tyagaraja is said to have composed this, which says that wherever there are these great souls, Mahanubhava, my, I, I bow to all of them. Now his idea of a Mahanubhava is, is a very, very stringent one, and you're not, we are not likely to come across many. He says, Bhagavata Ramayana Gita Adi Shruti Shastra Puranamu Marma Mulanu Shivadi Shanmata Mulu Guda Mulanu Muppadi Mukkoti Surantaranga Mula Bhava Mula Neriki Bhava Raga Layadi Saukya Muche Chirayula Galiki Niravadhi Sukhat Mula Tyaga Raja Aptulai Bar composition. Um, this conception of a Mahanabhava, a great soul, is indeed very stringent. It, it's very likely that uh, Tyagaraja himself met that standard. <laughs> 